If you're a solopreneur and you're not sure why your business is growing so slowly, stay tuned to the end of this episode because the reason I'm about to share on why your business is not growing the way it should do might surprise you. What's up, bosses? I'm Tarleen Raman Figueroa, your personal brand consultant at Boss Diplomat, making you look so good you can't be ignored. So this is a very frustrating topic for many of my solopreneur clients. Your business, you've been running it for a while. It may be two years it may be five years it may be ten you want to make six figures in your business but even getting six thousand dollars in the halfway mark of the calendar year is really really tricky that's a lot of red flags right there there is something clearly that's not working for you i'm going to run down some of the pain points that you might be experiencing as a solopreneur and there's one thing that you need to fix in your business to make all of that crumble away seriously we're gonna knock it out of the park one of the things that you might really be struggling with in your business is actually getting clients and customers into your business you need them right you need these individuals to support you to back you to buy what it is that you're offering but if no one comes guess what you can't get money into your business it's really really tricky it's fundamental that you constantly and continuously get clients coming into your business and buying what you have to offer but something in your business is not working and we're gonna fix that you might be frustrated that you are not getting the leads that you deserve you're putting so much effort you know marketing effort you're putting online ads out you are going to these networking events you're trying to get referrals to give you that word of mouth recommendation on why they should be working with you but these leads are just not translating into paying clients that's super frustrating right and i hate that you're in that position and also with regards to websites your website might not be pulling in the leads that you deserve you may have a subscribe here or a newsletter or some sort of like freebie free download um, a free lead magnet that you're offering but again that list is taking its time to grow and there's something that's not working in your business the other frustrations you might be experiencing is that no one can find you so you have social media you have a website you have the basics and still people are not able to find you so if i was to type in your business or the kind of general description of what it is that you do can i actually find you on google can i actually find you in your business if that's a no there's a problem right there and even if you do find leads whether it's online or offline you have clients who actually want to pay less than what you are actually willing to charge them or worse off they want you to work for free they're nagging you they're negotiating you down they're haggling down that price and that is a red flag to show that they don't actually trust or like what you're offering they may say that they may there may be a lot of mouthpiece a lot of talk about how they want to work with you but this is conditional to what they actually want they want this logo they're not willing to pay a thousand dollars for it they don't have the budget it's always going to be an issue of money they're going to say i don't have the money to pay this much however i'm willing to pay fifty dollars for this service are you okay with that and the minute you go oh well i need the money i need anything right now to survive this is where you start to attract low tiered clients and this leads on to my next point you don't actually know what to say to the people who want to work with you even if they're negotiating and haggling you down you are still stammering about how you have this service and you're exchanging it for a price there's no value there there's no poignant reason why this individual actually want to work with you you are now exchanging money for a service or a product in their eyes is an equal exchange you have an equal barter of trade happening between the two people but there's no value within this trade it's hey you pay me 50 bucks and i'm going to get this done for you or you pay me a hundred dollars and i'm going to get this done for you and there's no time frame either right how long is this exchange going to be if you have a service specifically and this person is saying i want 
to pay you $50 for this service. You exchange it, but then that exchange can stretch, stretch, stretch without you getting any more extra income. So this person could be working with you for six months, but there's no timeline to how long they are willing to work with you and want to work with you. And as a result, you're not making any money in your business. And then you get frustrated because this person is just stringing you along. You don't know how to rein them in. You don't know how to ask for more money for this service and if you do you don't know how to maintain that client because you're worried oh my god if this client even if they're paying me on a monthly basis this client could run off at any point because i've decided to raise the prices because i'm worth it i need more i need this person to stop stringing me along but because this was not discussed at the very beginning you're going to have a very very angry client at the end who are going to be even more difficult because you've raised a stink about it you said something that is true they are stringing you along they want more for nothing they don't want to pay more but they want more of your time, but they're not being explicit about it. And as a result, there's a lot of frustrations and a lot of fight in between. And that is not good for your mental health. And as a solopreneur, we really need to protect our own self-care, our own time, our own investment, because no one else is going to do that for us. So you don't really want those crappy, tire-kicking clients who are just stringing you along, wasting your time, wasting your energy and putting out bad mojo and toxicity into your life you don't want them so you don't actually want to maintain low tiered clients but you don't know how to turn them into higher level clients who actually respect and pay you i can fix that and say this client has been working with you for a while or even if this is a new client and you finished trading that service or trading that product with them, what's next? What happens at the end of that transaction? Do they just go away? Do you never hear from them again? Probably, you probably don't get anything back from them. You've got money from them, okay. But as a solopreneur, you need more than just money to survive. You need credibility, you need social proof. And what I'm talking about is reviews and testimonials. You need people to vouch for you and say, hey, good job, Talin did amazing with this piece of work and let me share why publicly. There is no point someone giving you a lot of praise behind the scenes because no one else is gonna hear it. It might be good for your ego, but Listen, ego is the enemy, okay? You don't want an ego in your business. You want to be humble, yes, but you also want that praise to be made publicly available so that other people who actually don't know who you are can actually learn more about you, but not from your point of view, from the point of view of your customers so that they can say, right, it's very clear that this person has expertise and a long history and they are actually active in their business because I'm seeing reviews pop up, 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 up. This is exactly what you need. But if you've just let that customer go without any sort of like, hey, I know we just finished this project. I would be really grateful if you can leave me an online review and give them a link. Boom, done. These are a lot of the frustrations that my solopreneur clients come to me. They don't have any presence. They don't have much credibility. They are charging too little for what they're providing because they don't know how to talk about what they are bringing into their business for those clients. They have really shitty clients who are not willing to pay them what they're worth. They don't see the value in paying you more because you've already put such a low bar for yourself. You know, add your value up. And then there's a reputational issue. There's no proof that you actually do what you do other than getting a few clients here and there. You know, the saying goes, if you don't take a picture of yourself on that holiday, that holiday doesn't exist. Kind of similar in this case. You really want that social proof to give you that credibility boost. All of the problems that I mentioned in this episode is a result of you having a weak brand. Like you might have the absolute basics down, right? Logo, colors, website, whatever. But then if your brand narrative and your story and the reasons why you do what you do and the reason why you created this thing or the reasons why you want to help this person or the reasons why you even have a business to begin with is going to result in a lot of the problems I just shared with you right now. Branding fixes all of that. 
absolutely all of that. And it's so sad that a lot of solopreneurs actually don't think about their brand until they actually make money. That's backwards, guys. You need to fix your brand or you need to establish a brand foundation at the very beginning of your business because that is the very foundation of your entire business to getting better clients, getting leads on your website, charging higher rates for what you're offering, being able to talk about what it is that you do, building a very strong marketing strategy and actually implementing that against your brand narrative. All of that can be fixed when you have a brand. If you are curious to know what your brand looks like right now without me having to even touch it, I would love to invite you into my calendar for a free mini brand session. I can show you where all the gaps are. I can tell you where your opportunities are and some of the basic things that you're missing out so that you start fixing some of the problems that we mentioned here and actually grow your business to a six figure salary by the end of the year. We can do all of this, fix all of these problems in not a year. We can actually fix all of this in three weeks. Don't believe me? Hey, go to Google, check out all of my reviews, check out my social media testimonials. Like there's a lot of proof out there. And if you still don't believe me, come and have a chat with me. It's as easy as that. I can't wait to see you on my calendar and I'll speak to you next time.